So, you wanted a full demonstration of the entire Guilty Gear animation process from start to finish in a single video. Not a problem. Alright, today I'll demonstrate the whole workflow on this missile. But the process is literally the same for everything. Bodies, clothing, weapons, and hair are all gonna go through the exact same pipeline no matter what the shape. So, here we go. Once you've completed your model and topology, the next thing is to square up the UV maps. Once you've done that, you'll open the UV editor and create a new image for your color map. Save it, press the X, and repeat the process to create an image for your ambient occlusion detail. Change mode to image editor, and switch view to paint. Set the brush to bucket, and turn the entire AO map white. Save the image, then open the shader editor, and depend the anime material that you can download completely free from my art station. Change this image to your color map, and change the second one to your ambient occlusion. Once you've set that, you can go ahead and close this window, switch to your color map, click your object, Tab to edit mode, select the areas that you want to color, go to paint mode, activate the mask, pick your color, and just dump the main colors right onto your model. Repeat this process until you get all the base colors mapped on, switch to your paintbrush, and outline all the UV islands in black to highlight the edges. Then switch to UV mode, edit your object, select everything, turn off the arrows, and slant or paint the edges of the map just a bit to simulate that imperfect hand-drawn look. Then switch to your AO map, and draw in the extra details wherever you think they should go in order to add a bit of detail in the areas you want to pop out. Afterwards, go to materials and add the outline material that also comes from my art station. And under tools, add the solidifier modifier. Under materials, set it to 1. Check flip in high quality. And give it a negative threshold until you see the outline expand out. And finally, to add the artificial normals for total light control, go back to modifiers, data transfer, set the source to your simplified proxy. Mine is just a smooth capsule. Check face corner data custom normals, and nearest face interpolated normals. You're done. Congratulations! You now know everything you need to simulate the Guilty Gear style anime shading. Feel free to try different modes to see which one works best for you, but otherwise, that's really it. I really hope that helps, but as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.